Okay guys, so this is the um, solution for the C2 potential paper. So the first question, you find the values for y, so the missing values. Part B is 18.66 units squared. Part C is 22.66 units squared. Check how I separated that extra one using a different integral. Okay, go through it guys. I'm sure it's easy to follow. Question two is a basic GCSE question. I found BC and then angle ABC and then I just use the area of triangle formula. Question three is a basic binomial expansion and you get these values if you do it correctly. Okay, and question four. So this midpoint of the circle is six, five. Radius squared is 20. So the equation is x minus six squared plus y minus five squared equals to 20. Uh, you get the tangent, um, so gradient of AC is minus half, gradient, uh, gradient of the tangent at A is 2, and then you use the formula to get the equation, which is y minus 2x minus 3. So part 3, P is minus 3 over 2, 0, Q is 0, 3, so the area of the triangle is 9 over 4 units squared, using the area of the triangle formula. Question 5, uh, you just plug f of half into the calculator and work it out, and then you get 0, so therefore 2x minus 1 is a factor. To get the other factors, you do long division and then factorize the quadratic, and you get the three factors 2x minus 1, x plus 3, 2x plus 3. And here you just basically, this equation here is the same as before. Uh, instead of x, it's just 3 to the y. So the, the, using the three factors, we get 2, 3 to the y minus 1 equals 0, because the other uh, two factors don't give us an answer, they're invalid. So y is minus 0.631. That's question five. Now question six. So the sum of a geometric sequence, so Sn equals to all that, and Rsn is all that. You just multiply each term by R, and then I did two minus one. So you get Rsn minus Sn equals to ARN minus A. You factorize and divide, and you get the formula as required. Part B is quite easy. You find the sum to infinity, you find sum to 10, subtract the two, you get the answer required. The other one is similar. You could find the sum to 12 and sum to 7 and subtract. Or what I did is I kind of found 8 term and I used the formula to work out the sum. So my 8 term was kind of the first term and I had 5 terms and I just worked it out. Or you could just do the first method, it was fine. Okay, now there's a big problem with this question. Uh, area of the sector is supposed to be 20. So if you use 200, can you please pause the video, redo the question and then come back and mark it. So what I did to find these shaded regions, I found the area of, first of all, I found theta, which is 40 over 81. And then area of OEF is 11.613. Area of EPQF is, so EPQF is like sort of the section um, between the main sector and the triangle OEF. Uh, and that happens to be 8.387 and then I found the area of sector AOB, I found the area of triangle OCD, I found the difference there which is 3.703 so the area of the shaded regions is 3.703 plus 8.387 which is 12.09 centimeters squared and to get the other one I found the area of the trapezium by subtracting area of triangle OEF and triangle OCD so I found the area of the tri trapezium and then trapezium is half times height times CD plus EF and I found uh, E and EF and CD using just R theta and then you get the height to be 1.92 centimeters okay these are just basic calculations guys just for calculation fanatics uh, question 8 part 1 uh, so pi r squared h equals to 3 thirds you get h equals to 3 thirds over pi r squared so you get a equals to pi r squared plus 660 over r is required when you simplify part 2 you find dadr you make equal to 0 you find r that happens to be 4.72 and then you find second derivative d squared a over dr squared plug in 4.72 it's greater than 0 there's a minimum so minimum area is the value of a when you plug in 4.72 which is 209.82 Minimum cost is that divided by 10 centimeters squared times 0.02, which happens to be 42 pence. Okay, now again, there's a mistake in the question for last question. Uh, it's supposed The question was supposed to be prove 2 sine squared theta minus 2 cos squared theta plus 11 equals to 2 sine theta plus 3 squared 
minus 2 or sine theta so here's the proof guys okay so when you get to the fourth step here 4 sine square theta plus 2 sine theta plus 9 minus 2 sine theta so what I did is I added and subtracted the 2 sine theta and that helped me complete the square and minus 2 sine theta remain as required and this one uh, so you just uh, you simplify it get it all in terms of sine 2 theta also don't forget to change the limits it's now 2 theta so it's between 2 pi and minus 2 pi not pi and minus pi so I let y equals to sine 2 theta so I get y minus 3 3 y plus 1 as the uh, two brackets and y equals to 3 or y equals to minus 1 third so y equals to 3 is sine th 2 theta equals to 3 which is invalid so sine 2 theta to the minus 1 third gives you these answers for 2 theta and when you divide it you get minus 0.17 minus 1.4 and then positive 1.74 and 2.97 okay guys i hope you enjoyed it good luck for the exam